Good morning. Another beautiful day outside, so I'm going to get some work done today. And uh, i got to get this brush pile picked up and moved and take it up to the burn pile. Uh, that is the remnants of a couple of elm trees that had fallen uh, early last fall. And what I chose to do with this pile was stack it all up over here next to the creek line. And <clears throat> I have some benefits for that. It actually provided shelter through the winter months for small animals such as rabbits and birds. Birds will get in there and different things like that. So there is a benefit of being able to provide shelter for the small animals through the winter time when it's extremely cold and they can't find a place to to burrow in, you know. So it pays dividends because it allowed somebody to survive a cold winter, okay? Um, we're getting to the stage though, uh, it's going, the spring rains is going to be right around the corner and I don't want this stuff being able to get washed into the creek. So <clears throat> start cleaning this brush pile up and we'll talk about some benefits that I've had throughout the winter of this stuff setting here. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, these adjustable shears like this, that's a, if you're cleaning your property up, this is a must-have. These things really do a good job. You're able to get them folded up and out of your way. So, I always keep these in the mule. These are a handy tool. can definitely see a burl in the bottom of the pile here so something's made good use of it and the denser uh, the leaves and the limbs and things like that get in there they'll hollow themselves a spot out in there and they'll have a pretty good living spot this pile is bigger than I thought it was it's partially due to this elm tree that broke down on the other side of the creek landed right on through so I had to saw the top out of it and throw it in the pile like I said late fall or early fall last year and uh, it definitely worked out well for the small animals over the winter time let's keep cleaning this thing up now one advantage of having this in a pile like this obviously I'm not walking that far in order to get it on the trailer um, the disadvantage is I am moving it twice because I had to pick it up off the ground from around here to get it to this pile. So let's keep cleaning. About 
being covered up with snakes in there. Because I guarantee you late spring, uh, early summer, you wouldn't dig through this thing probably two or three minutes. And you might find something you don't want to see in there. Definitely going to have to clean the creek out right there. Quite a bit of that tree still laying down in there. Let me zoom you in so you can see. Definitely want to pick all that stuff up. Like I said, it's easier to do it now. A little bit cool yet. And uh, get that out of there before the rainy season starts. That way we won't have any trouble with the bridge down here again. Now if you're attempting to get wild rabbits to uh, stay close to your property, this is a fantastic way to do that. Make, you, make yourself several brush piles throughout wherever you want them to uh, find habitat at. And like I said, late fall all the way through the winter, they'll climb into these brush piles like that. And then typically once you get them started, you don't have any problem keeping them around because uh, that is perfect habitat for rabbits. And if you hunt rabbits, it, it makes a great uh, spot to go and chase them out of the brush too. That stuff's deep in there. All right, guys, pretty good load of brush on the back of this thing. So I'm gonna take this up to the burn pile and get it up there where I can watch it burn. And uh, like I said, if you, you make yourself several brush piles throughout your property, um, I guarantee you, you'll have something living in there. You know, makes great shelter. And uh, I don't mind taking care of the animals. Now another thing you can do if you have brush piles that you're attempting to get rabbits and small animals like that uh, to gather around is run to the feed store and pick yourself up a, a 10 pound bag, 20, 50 pound bag of uh, uh, rabbit pellets and throw in underneath the uh, brush pile before you start building it and I guarantee you they'll be they'll find it you know and again it does protect them from uh, the chicken hawks and different things like that so it's just a really good way uh, you're gonna clean the brush up anyway it's just a really good way to utilize something that's already provided for you and again you know you're cleaning the surroundings up and making it nice for the animals as well